So you're largely credited with killing Pluto as a as a planet. I, I, I was an accessory. And I mean, I, I, <laughs> I well, well, I, okay. So, but I, I, I drove the getaway car, but I didn't commit the crime. Well, so but there's a there's a there's a book written by a guy named Mike Brown. It's yeah, called, yeah, it's a good friend. Called How I Killed Pluto and Why It Had It Coming. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a beef in this in the science community about who was responsible for the death of Pluto? I mean, I got he, blamed for killing Pluto, but I didn't kill Pluto. But he took the credit. He, so, so therefore, right, right. So he not only killed Pluto, he admitted it. So, so get off my back, <laughs> right? You're right. unhappy you with both. the judge. You got the gun, the, the, the smoking gun, and the person who pulled the trigger. And all I did was drive the getaway car. So it, in the year 2000, we rebuilt the Hayden Planetarium into a whole facility, and we said, well, we want to future-proof it. What is the trend line? What are the trend lines in scientific research so that when we cut metal, it'll have some shelf life for it without having to redo it every six months? We noticed that more icy bodies were being discovered in the outer solar system. Who looked more like Pluto than either Pluto or they looked like any other planet? That's an awesome sentence, by the way. I don't know if you, <laughs> if you follow that sentence? Me. Okay. <laughs> so, so what, anytime that happens in science, you say, there's a category just waiting to be named. A new, a new bin of identity, just asking for it. And so Pluto and these other icy bodies are part of the Kuiper belt of comets. Kuiper was a guy who predicted that this belt of frozen objects would exist beyond Neptune. Sure enough, there they are. Of course. And, and Pluto was the first among them, and we, we just grandfathered it in as planet, but it's really puny. It is, it is much smaller than our moon. Half of its volume is I mean, how ice. small is, I imagine Pluto as being like, you know, could fit like somewhere on the stage right over there. How small is Pluto? Okay, I'll tell you, if, if, if Neptune? That's not, don't use Neptune. <laughs> Go with like a basketball, compared to a basketball. No, no, no. I, I, that's, that, you don't know where I'm going to land. No, it's true. So how yeah. would you know not tell me not to go there? Well, I just if, the, if it's a reference point, I'm just saying. Oh no, okay. So so if Neptune <laughs> were analogized with a Chevy Impala in, in mass, yes, okay? of course. So now, how big is Pluto compared to that? So this Chevy Impala parked at curbside. Pluto would be not like a Mini Cooper. No, it would be a matchbox car sitting on the curb. <laughs> All right, but c compared to the moon. The moon. The moon is, I forgot the exact number, it's like eight times the mass of, of Pluto. Our moon. Where can we put Pluto in the world? Can we put it down somewhere? Uh, Pluto would fit between like here and, and Chicago. Okay, so it's in not really that States. big. Didn't I just say that? <laughs>